Well, here's an interesting match for uh, this upcoming Impact Rebellion. It's uh, for the Impact World Tag Team Champions. Uh, Violent by Design. Uh, against who? Well, you got uh, Matt Cardone. Matt and Rain. I tell you guys what. You got Josh Alexander. 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 Blah, 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 blah. Welcome to TFS Pod, always known as The Few Show Podcast. It's 24-7, Lou, and that's... Rick Hart saying seven TBA teams? What the heck is... Oh, wait, hold on. My, my throat's getting farts. Let me get some water, guys. <laughs> and, and that's... The one-man band. I think they're bringing some teams out of retirement for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, folks, welcome to TFS Pod. Let me... Let me... Tell you something, folks, from the highest mountain to the lowest valleys and everywhere in between. We are the beasts of the east, the best in the west. You are listening to TFS Pod. In this episode, we will be talking about Impact Wrestling's Rebellion 2022. And yes, there are listed nine matches, but we will only be reading eight because one of them has, they have not completed the list of who is competing in it. So how the heck are we supposed to make a prediction on that one? Even though we yeah, don't know who's I mean, come on. It's, it's one team that's named, and then there are seven other teams that are TBAs. Like, that's just, no. That's ridiculous. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> but first, before we get to anything, uh, let's attend to this. The one man, man, give us that line that everybody loves. <coughs> Rick Hard, get the scoreboard. All right, folks, this scoreboard was brought to you by the best water brand I know, Sefer Hills. And let me. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Someone gets the joke. Someone gets the inside joke. But, uh,. Scoreboard is, Lou, you're in the lead. Seven points. Yes. Followed by... No, no, that's not what the sound effect is for. <laughs> Followed by J. Few, who has four points Ooh. in second place. And he's followed close behind by two folks in third place with three points. That is myself and the one-man bands. Yeah. Who are followed by the randomizer at... Two points. And then you got Big Al. No. <laughs> Big Al at one point, and everyone else is at zero, yeah, including Bogey. <laughs> we'll keep reminding him until that changes. Yep. All right, so folks, yes, we and will... that's the scoreboard. Back to you. Luke. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, like I said we will be talking about uh, Impact Wrestling's Rebellion, uh, which uh, has a. Pay per view on April twenty third, Saturday, April twenty third. So we're making these predictions, and yeah, let's see if you follow along and see how uh, you guys are on a hot. You guys have the hot hand. So what's going to be the order here, uh, Ricard? You got to keep the momentum going. So uh, from the since we always top since we always start with main three table unless we have a guest on, uh, it's going to be one of us three starting. And even though me and my one man band got a, the most recent point. I got the most recent point after this recent point, uh, or, or from before this recent point. So I would go mm-hmm. first, unfortunately. Because you my picks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's followed by the one-man band, and then it's Lou. And since they got a point, it's the randomizer, j and Main Event Jeff. And that is the order. Okay, okay. And... Um... Hold on, I gotta have to do one other thing here. Okay, so let's go with the first match. It's gonna be the pre show match. It's gonna be Trey Miguel versus Ace Austin versus Speedball Mike Bailey in a three way match for the Impact X Division Championship. And this one, Ricard, you go first. Who do you have? Okay. Um so I've already I've already stated how I think it's kinda of, it's kind of ridiculous that Trey Miguel's championship uh, matches and a triple threat, no less. He's been really good with those. Uh, it's happening on the pre-show. I don't know what the heck that's all about. Uh, but I'm going to stick with him knocking it out of the park in this match and retaining. He already retained in the Ultimate X match from last pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Trey Miguel. That's my pick. Put it in the books, folks. 
Put it in the books. All right. Next person, uh, the one-man band. Who do you have? Uh, I don't think it makes any sense for Trey McGill to, to, to drop the X Division title on a pre-show, especially, like, with how, how much they're trying to build that title. I mean, or rather the, the prestige that that belt holds. So, yeah, Trey McGill. Trey, Trey McGill, I say, continues the reign. All right. Okay. My turn to pick on this one. And in this one... um. Uh, on the Go Home show in Impact, I was watching it, and they had it did have a match where they did have it was, it was a tag team match, but they did have uh, Ace Austin and Mike Bailey together teaming against Trey Miguel against uh, uh, Laredo Kid as well. And in that matchup, they did beat up on Trey Miguel pretty much at the end. And and there was one thing that happened that, that, that kind of surprised where Ace Austin had Trey Miguel in position, and then he t- and he told Mike Bailey come back in the ring, hit him, hit him, hit him, and he and he was holding up uh, Trey Miguel. Uh, Ace Austin and Mike Bailey comes in for a kick, and bam, he kicked Ace Austin. So that got a little bit of interesting. There was a little bit, a little bit of heat there. So it got interesting there for that. So based on that, I am definitely going to go ahead and pick Trey Miguel for the win. So what does the randomizer have, uh, Ricard? Randomizer J F U and Main Event Jeff. Wow, what a surprise! Already, already from the first pick. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, randomizer <laughs> is going to disagree with all of us and say Mike Bailey, new champ. Got to wow. give one up for Speedball. Uh, and then you've got Jay Few, who is surprisingly going to agree with us. He says Trey Miguel with the win. And then out of left field, main event Jeff says Ace Austin, new champ. So oh, we've got okay. a. We've got a four-one-one spread. Ooh, a split and at the, No at matter the... who wins, no matter who wins, someone will get a point. Yeah, someone will get a point in this one. Someone will have a lead early on. All right, so let's go to the next matchup. It's going to be the influence of Madison Rain and Tennille Dashwood minus Caleb with a K because I kicked him out uh, in one of the Impact uh, episodes versus the in- the I- I- inspiration. Casey Lee and Jessica McKay for the tag team. It's going to be a tag team match for the Impact Knockouts World Tag Team Championships. Uh, championship, which, of course, is the influence holding it right now. So in this one, the one-man man, you go first. Who do you have? All right. So I think it's I think it's interesting that, that they put the inspiration uh, back in the title picture. You know, I, they weren't even – they weren't – even in the match last time, I think if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they were not. So, so the fact the fact that they brought them back for to, to challenge, I, I think I think there's gonna be a title change. I think uh, the I- I- inspiration are are gonna be two time two time champs. So I'm an inspiration. All right, inspiration. Uh, I go next in this one and. Uh, I, I see what you're saying there about the inspiration coming back, but I think this gives uh, us an opportunity to have a rivalry there to to build up. So what best what better way to have the rivalry instead of just eliminating the the influence? I think the influence just won it. They're still hot, and I think that they will retain. So I'm gonna say the influence is gonna retain and defeat the inspiration. That's my pick. Who do you have, uh, Rickard? Well, let me just say, um, right off the get-go, one-to-one split between you two. Uh, yep. You got to be joking me. <laughs> 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 oh, if you know, you know. But uh, as much as it pains me to say it, the the team formerly known as being very iconic. Uh, I don't think they get, I don't think the W's in the in their hands for this one. Um, I think it's a I think it's an interesting tease with Caleb with a K being kicked out by the influence. Uh, the the whole thing being you know he was he was he was kind of flirting with moving with, to to helping the inspiration out or he he couldn't this he was screwing them over. But I, I think uh, I think the influence is uh, stronger with Adam. They as Lou mentioned they recently got the. They recently got the titles not that long ago. It wasn't it wasn't on the la- very last pay per view, but it was the pay per view right before that one. Uh, I just thought, I just see a title change that that quickly. Um, 
And yeah, I'm gonna have to stick with the influence, uh, keeping the keeping the gold. Ooh, making me add more ink to the to the inspiration uh, one man band's pick. All right. Yeah. All right. No, 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 Lou, Lou, hold that Kinko subscription. Because <laughs> right. got, you've got the randomizer picking the influence as well, but we've got a half and half split here. Because J. Few and Main Event Jeff both said the inspiration new tag champ. So it's three to three. Ooh. All right. Give me excited. Anybody's ball game. All right. Now, in this one, the order that we have written. On, that you will actually see in the in the bottom here, the description of the video. It's not in that order. We're gonna go. We're gonna jump. We're gonna go to. We're, we're gonna, gonna go in reverse end. after doing the pre-show uh, because uh, there's no way that, that the next match after the pre-show ends is the Impact World Championship match. So we're gonna save that in reserve for last. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go and read this matchup, which we're gonna have is it's gonna be Chris Sabin versus Jay White versus Steve Macklin in a three-way match. And this one, I go first, and yeah, I don't envy you on that one. This is a tough oh, one. Me. This is a very tough one. Um, Chris Sabin, and, and we did have an event. We did have a, a pay per view before where Chris Sabin did defeat Jay White, which is one, surprisingly one of his only defeats I think I've seen that he's had in any of the companies I've seen that he's been with now, with AW uh, Impact or uh, at uh, New Japan. So it's going to be tough for me to make this pick, but. I hate to say this, but no. You know what? I'm going to hold off on it because I'm going to first explain this one. Chris Sabin, I don't think he's going to win it. Steve Macklin has been taking a lot of losses lately. And just because of that, I think that now is the time for him to come out here and say he is going to defeat both of them. And Steve Macklin for the win on this one. I'm getting more paint. <laughs> So Rick, uh, Rick Hart, you go, you go next. Who do you have? Lou, I, I, I wasn't sure where you were going with that, uh, but you, you've, con- you, you, you've really. I, I think that's bold. I think that's bold. But you're kind of convincing me here, uh, which is why I'm going to say that uh, Steve Macklin is definitely going to take the pin in this match for Jay White. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Jay White for the win! <laughs> Come on. Good one. Good one. Good one. Already, already. So I did convince you, but I convinced you for the wrong person. Already. Uh, the one man band, you go next. Who do you have? All right. So we literally were just talking about this gentleman, you know, has been hopping around, has been on an expedition tour. Uh, I heard because of Visa Japan, by the way, for, for Jay White, by the way. He's waiting for that to come Yes. Through. Yeah, yeah. So. He, he he'll be all right, but um, with all that said, I mean, I all those wins that have been, he's been accumulating in other promotions and such, it wouldn't make sense to have him, you know, to have him lose to Sammy like that. Uh, well, I, well, I don't know. Like you did lose to Chris Sabin on the last one. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. So, I know that's, the point of that one. that's why I remember. Yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> I, but I but, but I'm I'm yeah I'm gonna go J White. I'm gonna go J White with this one. That I feel like I feel like J White's a sure bet, and he hasn't he hasn't steered me wrong, except for the first time. But since then he steered he steered the right direction. So yeah, Switchblade Switchblade J White for the win. Alrighty, okay. And what does the randomizer J Few and Murderman Jeff? So yet again, uh. We've got ourselves a situation where no matter what, someone's getting a point because the randomizer is going to agree with Lou and say, Steve Macklin. And then Jay Few is going to go with Chris Saban. Wow. And then main event Jeff is going to say Jay White for the win. Right. So we've got a three... Two, one, split. It's like a countdown. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Ooh, this next matchup is a tough one. Here we go. It's the next match we're going to have, have Diana Purrazzo, the mm. champion, versus Taya Valkyrie, who's back in Impact after going to some other company. Ugh, didn't use yeah. it properly. In a singles match for the A. Uh, 
ah, ah, or otherwise known as triple A. <laughs> reina, <laughs> de reinas. I'm gonna start, call, I'm gonna start calling it the count championship. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I got that one. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, Deanna Prosser versus Taya Valkyrie. Rickard, you go first. Who do you have? Oh, man. This is tough to do. This is tough to do. Um, because as you guys know, uh, Deanna Perrazzo is, she has been amazing with this, with this champ, champ challenge stuff. Uh, as you know, she's also the ROH well, women's champion while also being the triple A Reina de Reinas. Is champion. it ROH? She's an ROH champion? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she's got the two titles. She's got and, three actually. Yeah. NWA, right? NWA, right? No, no, she's got she's got Ring of Honor. She's got uh, well, she's she's the she's the she's, not she's the TNA. Uh, she's the Impact Women's Champion too, right? No, 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 no. Oh, that's Sasha Steel. Okay. That's Sasha Steel. Oh, I take that back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So do it, do it. Take that back. But it's all right. It's all right. She used to be so. It, it makes sense why you so think I, I understand the confusion. So, yeah, yeah. so this is tempting. It's tempting for me, and and Diana Perazzo has rarely s- steered me wrong on this one. You know the rule. In more ways than one. In more ways than one. If anything, she makes my head turn the right way all the time. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she's got a great one too. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> in terms of in terms of this, Taya Valkyrie is coming back from. The, the, the Stanford uh, promotion from up north, and uh, whenever whenever somebody comes back from there, they, they kind of get the oh they were they were in that other promotion push, let's let's push them, you know it happened with it happened with uh, the the influence or rather the the inspiration sorry I got my ins wrong, uh, and Taylor Valkyrie, she she, she was uh, she she's I think the one of the longer reigning. Uh, knockouts champions. Mm-hmm. So she she's no stranger to holding gold. And this pay per view is giving me the the feel of yeah this will be the place where you know titles change hands here and there. Uh, I'm gonna say Taya Valkyrie with the upset. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. All right, Taya Valkyrie. All right, the one man band. You go you go next. Who do you have? All right. Uh... I, I think Rick Hard read my notes or something because <laughs> I, um, you know, I made the mistake of the beginning of going against Diana Perazzo a while ago, and I got uh, I got burned on that one, and then I learned my lesson and started, you know, choosing her afterwards, and that that steered me steered me in the right direction. However, Ty Valkyrie, uh. Uh, formerly known for a short time as Frankie Monet, hmm. what a dumb name that was. Uh, but but whatever. Um, a lot of a lot of people don't know that she is actually a very very big deal in Mexico. Hmm. A very big deal. Like she is, she is she I, she's like legendary in Japan at this. I was shooting in Mexico at this point. She's legendary. Um, ella I habla think, español. Yeah, ella habla español, and not only that, she. Uh, I think she. I think she was in Lucha Underground, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe maybe made appearances. But I know, I know for a fact that Mexico, she's a big, big deal. So I think it's fitting, and it's very telling that the triple, the triple A championship or the A. Ah, uh, ah, uh, championship, like you said. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. Um, the count championship. Um, I think it's telling that that title's on the line, and with against Ty Valkyrie. So, I'm also gonna go Ty Valkyrie. I think she. I I have a feeling that they're they're gonna they're gonna pull the trigger and and they're gonna have her win it. Wow! Wow! Oh my God! Okay. Yeah. And I think, and now it's my turn. And I think you've been reading my notes. Because I was about to mention, yes, how Ty Valkyrie is big over there because she has had the title, I believe, two times already as uh, the triple ah, 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 ah. Oh, I think it's her four. Anyway, <laughs> Reina de Reina's championship. She's had it before. 
And I think this sets up a good thing for uh, what do we have going on in, in a few weeks on the 30th? From Triple A. Triple Mania. Triple Mania. Night one. Night one. So, yeah, so uh, that, this could set up something for that, even. So, I think that in this one, yeah, Ty Valkyrie comes in off the street. <laughs> yeah, right. And gets the victory here over Diana Perazzo, which I think will set up something else in Triple A, where every, all these companies are working together. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. So, that's my pick. And what does Rick Hart, sorry, not Rick Hart, what does a randomizer J. Few and Main Event Jeff have? Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say, hey, I'm reading the picks. They're not my picks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but damn, wow, I was not expecting that when I picked Tyre Valkyrie because I was expecting a bit more love for the Virtuosa. But uh, fortunately, the uh, the other three people in the ring already have all gone with Deanna Perrazzo, so we've got a halfway split. Ooh, it's the it's the go. big kids table versus the the kitty table. Yeah, wow. This is this this is this show's gonna be interesting. For all we know, there could be there could be a time where where uh someone gets zero points. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> the donut the, the donut. The donut, yeah, there could be a chance. Uh, uh, but yeah, three way th- two way split right down the middle. Wow. All right. So let's go to the next matchup. It's going to be Chasha Steeles, a champ with Savannah Evans, versus Rosemary from Decay in a singles match for the Impact Knockouts World Championship. The one man band. You go first. All right. I think this is going to be, I hope at least, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say for sure, but I think this one is going to be simple. And and I'm gonna say Tasha Steele's retains. Tasha Steele retains. Alrighty. Okay, my turn to pick next. And in this one, I'm gonna say it's gonna get crazy in there. It's gonna get wild. And we're gonna see, of course, a lot of help from Savannah Evans, I believe. I believe in this one. And it's gonna be the woman of steels, Tasha Steels. That's not her line, but I'm making it up. So Tasha Steels will win on this one. Retains. Let's go. Next, Tasha Steels. And by the way, next is Rick Hart. Who do you have? Well, guys, I, I think Rosemary's just going to be too tired from uh, competing in that eight, eight-way eight tag team match uh, oh, yeah, against Violent by Design. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It could be her. I don't know if she's in there. I said it. Yes, I did say it. Yeah, yeah. Decay, the, Decay might be in the, the eight-way tag match against Violent by Design. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, I think Tasha Steele is going to retain. I mean, she's only held it since she took it off of Mickey James a couple months back. Uh, and she's obviously got the help on the outside. Not mm-hmm. to say Rosemary's not going to have her partner from Decay there, but nah, it's it, it's going to be it's going to be Tasha Steeles. She's got the she's got the help. She's got the heel heat going on. Uh, she won that first ever X Division Women's Ultimate X match. Oh yeah, X Division. So it's very obvious they're putting they're they're trying to give her that push there. So yeah, Tasha Steeles for the win. Okay, and what does the randomizer will heal? A J few and anyway, yes. my name is Jeff. <laughs> my name is Jeff. <laughs> what are they? Uh, Lou, Lou, I have a question for you because we might have something for the first time. Hold on, you have a glass now. featuring featuring a different set of pots and pans it's a glass. because we've got a good set. Everybody pick Tasha Steels. You pick Tasha Steels. I pick Tasha Steels. Steve picks Tasha Steels. Everybody pick Tasha Steels. There is no love for Rosemary on this one. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. <sighs> that could be the runaway pick. Everyone would have that somebody could, would that pick. Could be the dark that yeah, could be that the dark be pick that could have won everything. No. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> All right, next matchup. It's going to be it's going to be Jonah versus Tomohiro Ishii in a singles match. This one I go first. And uh sources out there have been telling me that for months they had mentioned that April, the end of April will be the end of uh, Jonah's uh, contract with Impact and he'll be sticking with New Japan. 
it sounds like is what I heard from rumors out there. And I think that this match will be the last match for Jonah for a while. And we're going to have to say, see you later, Jonah. Because Tomohiro Ishii is going to take the win on this one and defeat Jonah. That's my prediction. Who do you have, Rick Hart? So... Yeah, I don't know how to respond to that rumor because Jonah, I feel like Jonah debuted like barely a couple months back. Uh, I don't I don't buy it. I'm going to say Jonah gets the win over Tomohiro Ishii. All right, Jonah. For, all right, and the one-man band, who do you have? He's thinking it over. The one-man band. Who do you have? No, he, he can't decide. Can We've you... split the decision so much. Um, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Yeah, we hear you. Okay, all right. I was like, whoa, what's going on? Here? We lost from the multiverse. Um, yeah, seriously. Yeah, I'm You're still, still stuck in the multiverse. I'm still, I'm still stuck in the multiverse of matches. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, I know that Ishi Ishi's on a two pay per view win streak, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he won the YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, so he won New Japan and he won the prior one. Uh, oh, but yeah, yeah. So, but I don't know. I think I think that that's gonna have to be pump the brakes on that one for. Mm. I, I think I think Jonah. I think Jonah's gonna gonna take it. So I'm gonna go Jonah. Ooh, okay, Jonah. All right, two to one. Wow. All right, and what does the randomizer? J for you and Minimum Jeff have. Yeah, I gotta hand it to I gotta hand it to one man. That was a whale of a pick. <laughs> no, no, okay. <laughs> his name's Jonah. No, okay, all right, all right. Uh, Anyways, uh, randomizer, guy. randomizer yeah. is gonna agree with me and the one man band and say Jonah gets the win. Uh. Don't worry, Lou. You got a friend, though. You got a friend, though. Yay! J. Few says Tomohiro Ishii gets. Might as well call him. Might as well call him Toy Story. You got a friend in me. (laughs) (laughs) I I like that. Every time he says that, we're gonna have to use that. Got it. Got it. And and (laughs) main event, Jeff is gonna say Jonah. We've got a four to two split. Oh yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I'm getting the point on this one. But so is Jeff. Yeah, uh, Jeff yeah okay. We'll see. All right. Damn. All right. All right, so let's go to the next matchup. Oh, we did the next matchup, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> to yeah. make sure. All oh, right. Uh, it's going to be this one. Hold on a second here. All right. All right. It's going to be uh, Jonathan Grisham versus oh. Eddie Edwards in a singles match. Rick Hard. You go first. Who do you have? With honor. I'm no. going to Eddie... go with double E, double D. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> Eddie Edwards. <laughs> Eddie Edwards. All right. Eddie Edwards. All right. And the one-man band, who do you have? All right. So I know that. I know that Jonathan Gresham just lost the uh, the ROH championship. He did. Uh, I believe so, if I remember correctly. I think. I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I want to say he did. Uh, but anyhow, to whom? I God, that's a great question. Now I'm now I'm not sure. It wasn't Samoa Joe. Uh, was it well? Samoa, well, was Jonathan Gresham the TV champion or the world or the ROH world champion? Oh, I think he was a world champion. Okay, because Samoa Joe won the TV championship. Oh, okay. No, no, no he still has, the ROH. He has. Yeah, he, he John, Jonathan Gresham has a, has a, a feud with um, what's his name again? So Jonathan Gresham is currently the champion. Yeah, the world champion for a promotion called Progress Wrestling. No, no, not that. <laughs> uh, I I gotta hold on real quick, real quick. The current Ring of Honor champion. All right, so current current Ring of Honor champions. Uh, 
Yeah, Jonathan Gresham. Jonathan Gresham is currently. Yeah. Yeah, he is currently the Ring of Honor champion. Yeah, because he has a few with. Uh, what's that guy game? Uh, that, uh, what's his name again? He's uh, Jay Lethal, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's who he has. He has. He has. He yeah. Has a, a, a yeah, with him. that's who it was. Okay, okay. Because they, so they, they, they showed up in AEW. And then. Okay, that's Samuel right. Because he, he's. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay. So that right there tells me. Yeah. That that I, I that uh, audible. I'm throwing an audible. Uh, Jonathan Gresham. I'm going with Jonathan Gresham then because I don't think it makes sense to have the ROH World Champion look weak. Obviously, it's in another promotion. I get it. But I don't think it makes sense to make one of the newer signings of AEW look weak in Impact and have him lose to Eddie Edwards. I think it's Eddie Edwards at all. I mean, Eddie Edwards has been is a firmer. You know, Impact Champion and all that, but I'm going Jonathan Gresham. All right, all right, my turn to pick on this one, and now I have to add a little bit more to this because my guy was telling me this guy I know, he was telling me that Jonathan Gresham, yes, a Ring of Honor champion, and he's sticking with the Ring of Honor, and uh, he's because he was part of the the champions that were before, when Ring of Honor was not owned by. Mr. Khan, and right. and he was and he was holding the championship and he was in Impact, which is the deal they had there until Ring of Honor has a new owner. So a new owner, what my guy tells me is that Jonathan Gresham is going to stick with him and go and work over there and not be a, uh, on on Impact Wrestling. So for that reason, I'm being told by my guy that Eddie Edwards is going to take the win on this one, and Jonathan Gresham. Will not be seen on Impact TV. That's what my guy's telling me. So what you're saying is you're copying somebody else's pick from your guy. Uh, uh, my inside guy. He has a lot of information. So no, I guy. inside guy. Okay. So I'm going with Eddie Edwards on this one to make the one man bands pick even look even bolder. All right. <laughs> I'm helping you out by picking against you. Uh, by picking yeah. against you. <laughs> All right. <that> makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I know. What does a randomizer J F U N made a Jeff have? Well, Lou, in a strange way, uh, yeah, because this is this is very helpful for the one man band here. Because if he gets this right, wait, uh, he's for the every one single one, point. for every single one, I'm going to add more ink. I'm going to go right over the one man band's pick. Uh, At this rate, we're just going to create a new on Microsoft Word. There's going to be a new font style called Extra Bold, yeah. or the One Man Band Bold. <laughs> either way, one either man, way. one man bold, <laughs> one man bold. There you go. Either way, One Man Band is going solo on this one because Randomizer J Few and Main Event Jeff all say Eddie Edwards gets the W five to one split. All right. Even though I like I like your reasoning in, on it, but my guy told me something different. So I yeah, like yeah, I, I like the reasoning He's in it. He got a guy. He's got a guy. I got a guy on the inside who tells me this stuff. All right, so let's go to the next matchup. It's going to be Moose, mm. the champ versus Josh Alexander in a singles match for the Impact World Championship. There we go. So out of that wonderful pay per view where. <laughs> Vince would would have Vince, Vince wants to do something like that where he has someone a champion lose a championship in front of his family in the ring. Hey, it already happened. Ring. It already happened. Which one? <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, I mean, he wasn't. In, they weren't in the ring, but we're Braun Breaker. I mean, oh, <laughs> he, oh yeah. Come on, <laughs> come oh, on. Oh yeah. It already happened. Well, well, they weren't outside the <laughs> ring, but I want I yeah, want someone so. in, I want family inside the ring. By the way, and, 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 and I was talking. I was talking to Jeff about this the other day because he he was unaware that this storyline happened last year. Okay. Um, at the very end, and when I explained it to him, he said, "Dude, I love that kind of stuff. Whenever you have like a, a wrestler's kid, like crying right. or getting beat up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. For, for people who don't know, for people who don't know, main event Jeff is a big fan of the Dominic Mysterio versus Brock Lesnar stuff." From a couple years oh, back, God. where Lesnar would just beat up on Dominic for no reason. Oh God! <laughs> so yeah, so this is this is this is a big matchup uh, coming up, and um, yeah, um, 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to mention this. I did see one of the promo videos for this before we get to, to the selection here, the picks. Um, there was one where Moose went into to Josh Alexander's home and was telling his two-year-old kid, tell your dad I'm going to beat him. Like, little two-year-old kid's like, what? What, what, what? What's going on? It, it, was, uh. it was like, what the, what's going on? Here? It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get to the predictions. And the one-man band, you get to go first. Who do you have? All right. Well, as we uh, as we just prefaced and brought back, the whole story between Josh Alexander and Moose is going back to last year. If I remember correctly, it was back in November, I want to say. Maybe October, November-ish, mm-hmm. I want to say. And so it has been cooking for quite some time. And we all know Josh Alexander won the, won the title. And literally right after <laughs> Moose just comes in and demolishes them. I, Moose Moose had Moose Moose had a uh, a, a cash in if I remember right. Like yep. some kind of they call your shot. Yes, it they call your turning, shot. Turning point in November. Turning point. Yeah. In okay, I remember. Yep, All it. right. Cool. That's a my memory's still intact. Uh so yeah. So he did that, and he he destroyed him in front of his own family. His family was celebrating, and he just got pancaked. And that was that. So, obviously, since then, Josh Alexander has been on a redemption tour, you know, to try to get back into the spotlight of, you know, I'm getting my title back. And, you know, Moose has faced, you know, a few good people. He's faced, uh, if I remember, I think, Eddie Edwards, uh, Matt Cardona, mm-hmm. uh, your boy, your boy Heath, right? Yeah, there you go. I was waiting for you to name drop him. That's right. Yeah, yeah, your boy Heath. Uh, so there have been some formidable people, but I think they've been saving it finally for this one. And I think, I think, uh, Josh Alexander is going to have his redemption. I really think so. I think, I think this is going to be the time. So I'm going to go Josh Alexander, new champ. Alrighty. Wow. All right. My turn to pick on this one and man, just stole my thunder. Man, just stole my thunder. What he said. And yeah, I'm going to pick Josh Alexander uh, to win this. I think this is a redemption. And he gets his championship back. Even after Moose has uh, gone in to attack him, gone to attack, to appear at his family, appear at Josh Alexander's home, talking to his kid. So yeah, Josh Alexander wins this. That's my prediction. And who do you have, Ricard? I mean... We all kind of, we were all making jokes about it because me and one man band kind of were hinting like, yeah, we know where this is going. We know where this is going. And we we didn't want to say it because we didn't want Lou to catch on. But unfortunately, he didn't go first on this one. So we we will never know what his original thoughts were. Whoa, whoa, whoa. uh, No, 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 no. no. (laughs) 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 Fair fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, we've all kind of. We've been paying attention to it. They kept Josh away from Moose, which was a clear sign that clearly they they, they knew they caught lightning in a bottle when uh, when he won. It. Mm-hmm. I remember the fans were really into it when he when he won the title off of Christian. Yeah, right? and uh, it was like Daniel Bryan winning it all over, kind of. Mm-hmm. So not in front of the the same WrestleMania crowds, but yeah, similar feel, similar feel, especially with the family coming out. The streamers, I, I've never seen that happen where the family comes out, the streamers go down, everybody celebrating the world title win, and then, and then oh, oh uh, by the way, you got to defend it right now. Spear right in front of your two year old kid and your pins. And your wife just is in the corner there watching as the guy celebrates with your title. Yeah. Um, yeah, come on. How are you going to. I. I <laughs> If Moose wins, <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh my god! Like at that point, it's just wow. We really just want to <laughs> rain on his parade. Um, yeah, no, Moose gets uh, gets the defeated, and uh, Josh Alexander is getting the d- W in this match and the championship. That is my pick. All right, Josh Alexander. All right. And what does uh, the randomizer J Few and main event Jeff have? All right, so we've got the randomizer in agreement with us saying Josh Alexander. Hold on. Uh oh. 
No, no, no. I'm fine no, tuning. Sorry, fine rain, tuning. Got to rain. Got to rain on your parade, Lou. Because J. Few and Main Event Jeff have both said Moose for the win. Nah. We have a what? four to two split. What? Wow. No way. Heel. Four to two split. Yeah. Main event heel right there. What the? What was up with Main that? Went went. Well, I don't blame. You know, if Jeff does a heel turn, I don't blame him. You took away his point, Lou. <laughs> oh, oops! You gave the you gave the guy false hope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't I can't say anything. Sorry. Oops! I forgot to drop the one. Yeah. Even professionals, even professionals mess up sometimes. There we go. Yep, it happens. So yeah. That said, those are the picks for yep. Impact Rebellion. And uh, it's it's going to be interesting. If, if anybody gets a donut, that, that'll be very surprising. Yeah, very. Because we have probably the most spread out number of picks. There In a while. Be. Yeah. Yeah, this has been a while since we've had we've had this kind of like jump around. Yeah. Yeah. I can only I can only say that I hope whoever gets the point is gracious and that they are not named 24-7 Luke. What? Ah. <laughs>